5-4. Imagine. Kareeba Sana. Welcome back to Social Friday. My name is Joy Muchache. Remember that if you guys are interested in what we are about to discuss and if you guys want to interact with our guests, do feel free to do so on our social media handles. But remember to put hashtag Social Friday and hashtag Y in the morning and then go to our social media handles, Facebook and Twitter, that's Y254 channel. And then tell us how you're feeling. Also on Instagram, that's Y254 underscore channel. I myself, I'm a Twitter gal. You can find me on Joy underscore Mochache just on Twitter. And today we're having a wonderful edition. It's interesting. And I don't think we've ever had this one. It's called Lust and Money in the Entertainment in the Entertainment Industry. Lust and Money in the Entertainment Industry. And we have two wonderful models who are with us on set today, a male and a female. The lady is called Caroline Muldoni and the man is called Abel Steven. And they're both here to kind of shed some light on the entertainment industry and their journey and how things have been for them. And also to kind of teach the youngins who are watching uh, some of the ropes and how to join this industry if they are interested. Do meet our guests, Karibu Nisana. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'm so glad to have you on set. You're yes. First of all, I want to start with Mr. Stephen because you have so many titles. I want you to say the titles for yourself. Okay. But so far you told me that you're a runway model. Yeah. And what else do you do? Okay, apart from runway model, I'm also a commercial model, mm -hmm. a styling, fashion styling. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But then, you hold several titles. Yeah, I also have several titles. Yes. That's in com pageantry modeling. Okay. So I was Mr. Technical University of Kenya, uh -huh. 2017, 2018. Uh -huh. And I am the current Mr. Autism Kenya. Mr. Autism Kenya. Yeah, so I'm the ambassador of the autistic children. Amazing. Yeah, people facing autism yes. in Kenya. Yes. Then um, Mr. Sphere Kenya, second uh -huh. runners up. Second runner up, yeah. Mr. Sphere Kenya. Yeah. What's Mr. Sphere Kenya about before we go to Madam Caroline? Okay, about Mr. Sphere Kenya, mm. we mostly concentrate on helping the community. Mm -hmm. And this mostly major on the girl child. Mm -hmm. So there are these girls that either got pregnant like by the age of 16. So we usually go, they have a shelter. The shelter is called Nest, Nest, Nest Shelter. Mm -hmm. We usually go there like once a month mm -hmm. to visit them, to share with them food, and have fun with them, ah. and encouraging them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Ah, Caroline, I, you have been seeing you shaking your head like yeah. you're also interested in what he's doing. That's Very great. interested, yes. He's yes. doing some good job. Ah, can we get to know a little bit about yourself then? Yes. Yes. You are a actually a commercial model. Yes, I'm a, a video commercial model. vixen. And what else do you do? And I'm an actress, and I do skits online. Actress, and you also do skits online. Yes. Speaking of skits, I saw a funny skit of yours. <laughs> uh, it was on your Instagram page okay. where you were pretend. Well. Well, a skit is a pretending. It's a anyway. pretending, yeah. yeah acting, <laughs> so yes. You play. And I loved your dress. That's the first thing I thought. I, that the first thing I did was scream when I saw your dress. I was like, oh my God, look at that skater dress. It's so cute. Uh -huh. And I, so it was interesting how you you were playing this guy, you know, and he was interested in you. But yes. he just looked too cheap for your style. He looked Until he started cheap. walking towards a Range Rover. Yes. And all of a sudden, now you're interested <laughs> in him. <laughs> and this is life. That's what people are doing lately, you yes. know. Mm. You have noticed there's no, like, clear mm. love, sorry to say. Mm. Like, many people want, they just want the money and everything, how you're looking, who yeah. you are, and that's yeah. it. And that's like, it. it's really hard to find, you know, some that's true. real yeah. love, yes. And I'm glad you brought that up because actually, you know, the edition today is Last in Money in the Entertainment Industry. And yeah. now that we're even talking about, most people, they just want the money. Yes. And just how, you, the way you even acted like that girl for a second, mm -hmm. you were not interested in that man. Yes, you were acting. Yes. But even as you're acting, you were not interested in that man for any reason at all. Not at all. Nothing <laughs> until you saw his car. Yes. Yes. And is this how the entertainment industry tends to work? Or is this what? 
yani it's not to pesa to to pesa we only follow money money yeah. yes yeah. Mm. I mean, this is what is really happening. It's really out there. It's really happening. And that's why we even have the sponsor thing, sponsor manenos. That's why it's really happening. Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. that's true. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Have oh, you yeah, experienced it? I think he has experienced it as a guy. Maybe he can even you know, say it better. As a real girl, I think you shouldn't go for a sponsor. Really? As a girl? A, yeah, you should be a queen yourself. Mm. Yeah, of yeah. course, you should be a queen. Mm. That's true, that's true, you should be a queen. Yeah. So you should rely on yourself as a queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. How do you find that sentiment? So it's true, you You agree. should, yes. Like mm. for me, I do rely on myself mm. all the time. So yes, I totally agree with him. Yeah. Do you, maybe this guy, a certain guy like this, he's working hard. For example, a sponsor has, um, how, many, how old are you? I mean, okay. <laughs> Definitely old enough, but the sponsor is older. You'll get like the sponsor is even like 20 years older. Yes. So this guy in 20 years time, probably he'll be there. Ah, true. Yeah, so. Able to get now, Eki Dogo. She has said her point. Uh, can, we, can we talk about this um, sponsor, Manenos? Because you, immediately she dropped the word. Yeah. There was an immediate reaction. <laughs> reaction, you. Yeah, immediate reaction. <laughs> yeah. So it's like it holds a place in your heart. What does it mean to you? Okay. Do you have a problem with females who are running to sponsors or females who are because, you know, they just want to see money? What are two older men? Okay, like for me, what I believe, a real girl in a fuck way, the man is a jitegemea like a square driven a door. Because, like, one of the pressure by the on the boy child side, so. To one of the party pressure on the boy. Pressure in a gani. Share this pressure. Because Share this like, to a to a to a baze. Remove the stress. Yeah. So, them like a queen. You no, know, I see a girl like a queen. Yes. In a far queen, them. And I just take me like them when I na jua, Kenya na taka in her life. Yeah. Yeah. So a square them when I na like, and a fat ado. Yeah. I quit them simple. Yeah. I quit to them simple. Yeah. Do you? Hi, Abbas. Um, do you think, uh, first of all, before we talk about whether it's possible or not mm. to be very simple in the entertainment industry, mm. let me first talk about you as an individual. Okay. Um, Carol, maybe you can tell us, as a video vixen, yeah. what are some of the challenges you've experienced coming into the video vixen world? Is it is it something you've enjoyed? I'm sure you do enjoy it, which is why you do it. Yeah, that's why I do it. Yes, yes. of course. means you do enjoy it. Yeah. But maybe one chance, especially when it comes to being a video vixen, because when we're talking about models, we'll talk about both of you. Yeah. Yes. Yes, so video vixening. Being a video vixen, it's quite, it's interesting, yes, definitely, because yeah. you're doing something you love. It's such a flashy world. Man. It is, yeah. man. But then it is a bit challenging. One, clothes. You know? Ah. Of course, you have to have quite a lot of wardrobe. Your wardrobe needs to be... <laughs> and you have to go all out. You have to be everywhere. Like, you have African prints, you know? You have casual looks. You have official looks, because you never know what it entails. You never know what it asks you to... You know, this time you're doing this. Yeah. So, one. And then, secondly, the men out there. Oh, my God. Yes. Somebody wants to sleep with you, so yes. you can be in a video, you know? Yeah. It's just... And then, mm -hmm. at times, we're not even... You know, you're not even paid, you know. Yeah. At times, the I payment just this, goes. I hear it's a challenge. It's a Kenya. challenge. It's a very big challenge, you know. Mm. You're expecting your payment, and then maybe it just comes the half of it, you know, the half mm. of it. Then you just go, and then after that, that's it, that's you it. know. Yeah. You call them, they're not even picking up, you know, the... They just go. Mm. They just go quiet. They just go quiet. They just go. And they go with your money. And they go with your money. Yes. And then they have the nerve on top of that to come and tell you if you want it, if you, you should have slept with me. Exactly. <laughs> such things. Ah. Such things are real happening. Such things are happening. They are the happening industry. out there. Wow. Yes. Oh, but you know, I tell people, you know, you just have to be yourself. Yes. You know what? Whatever you deserve will come. Yeah. It will definitely come. You know, just ask God for it. Yes. Tell him, you know what, God, I can't do this, but I'm. Yes. I'm really hoping I can do this. So yes, just wait. Mm. Just wait for your turn. Whatever is yours will be. Whatever yours. is yours will come. If yeah. it's not yours, let it, mm. let it slide. Mm. It will come. Let it slide. Don't be sleeping with people <laughs> for, exactly for something. For, for that, it <laughs> because will come. it might not be yours. It might not even be yours. Ah, or might not even do well. Yes. But when it comes from up there, definitely it goes well. Mm. Yeah. I do love your look today, absolutely, from head to toe. From your beret <laughs> to your sunnies, every oh single God. thing that you've worn, even your shoes. Oh my uh, God, absolutely <laughs> everything. 
and you, your suit looks immaculate as thank well. Thank you, thank you. Now that we have uh, we have come from Video Vixening World, you're yeah. not a Video Vixen, but at this moment you yeah. are holding uh, several titles, especially the Mr. Technical Kenya one. Yeah. Now both of you are models. Yeah. When it comes to modeling, is mm. such a story similar in the modeling sphere? Yeah, like the story is similar. For men? Yeah. No. Okay. I do support <laughs> all the sides. Okay. The story is similar. What I always say is that it's good to be you, you yes. know, and to know what you want in the industry. Yes. Because, like, for me, it's passion that driven me to modeling. Yes. Since I was a kid, let's say, standard eight there, I could spend most of my time watching fashion TV and stuff. So when I do modeling, I do it like a passion. Yeah. Like, I don't need someone to pay, like, someone to pay me. Mm -hmm. In order to, to do because something that I like. It's something you like doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and there are challenges by the mm -hmm. like especially on the female models, they do face a lot in the industry. Mm -hmm. And it always sad to me like a girl, like an an abandon that low mm -hmm. to accept what the manager, the organizer na mm -hmm. the job. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say you be yourself like Kama yezi mek, a yezi mek. Hakuna anja like, you put as your respect, to gain something that it has to idea when you tell me at the end. Yes. Yeah. And um, I'm glad you brought that up because you said uh, you've, something interesting I feel like I, I need to let the public know. Yeah. He has opened up something called The Enemy. It's a mental health club mental health club called The Enemy that focuses yeah. on helping the youths through guidance and counseling mm. so that they can make it through various things like depression and hard times like trauma yeah. and PTSD and all other sorts of things, yes? Yes. Okay, and uh, you know, now that you've talked about girls letting their value go down low like yeah. that, do you find that sometimes maybe our oh, youth want to have pesa sana to the point where, when they don't get it, they literally get depressed. Yeah. You know me, I feel like that's a problem. Yeah, but yes. that, that, that's a very Usually you get problem. depressed because you have no money. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like you feel like it's the end of your life. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah, that's why you came up with the club, uh, the inner me. Inner me. Yeah, okay. you know, most of the youths nowadays. Why is, hold on, why is it called the inner me? The inner me, like in a manisha, you open up what's inside. Yeah. Usia check to condani like ikumalize ikuwe much. Yeah, so that's why we came we gave it the name the inami to help the students, mostly the youths mm -hmm. because when there's a part of like most youths do an awana ukuinje in campuses yes. and stuff. So yes. like a model, my main aim was to serve the community yeah. through my title. Mm. So and we we came up with the inami to help the students in, in guiding them, counsel them, help them their problems. Like if a student has financial issues, mm. we can talk like ambassadors of the universities mm. and be able to raise something to, to, to help him or her. Mm. And also to advise him or her on how to hustle and other stuff so that mm. a school depends depend on parents. You know, when you depend on your parents, at times I wanna it's true. And you have to survive. So upon do napata like a youth. Like an otherwise na patangina menda kujinyonga. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I came up with the club. Yeah. To help the youths. To help the youth. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes I feel like, uh, yeah, now this topic is so prevalent, what we're talking about, last yeah. and money in the entertainment yeah. industry. Yeah. And you know, right now, it's like almost everyone wants to be in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Yes. Almost everybody, even the young, young, young people, uh, especially socialites. They would like to, I don't know, I don't know why. Where did this thing even come from? <laughs> but like, come to Anamka to one day and they decide their dream in life is to be a socialite. Like, that's their dream. They have no other thing they're thinking about, you know. And sometimes that can be something very difficult to achieve. Yeah. And so, you know, they, they of course, you have to come across sponsors so that mm. they can yeah. introduce you to, you know, the politicians. And mm -hmm. after you've been introduced to politicians, now you become a socialite, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a shady road. It's a shady road. But maybe I can ask Caroline, how, how can we avoid, as ladies, how can we uh, avoid being trapped like this? Like when we are being, let's say, let's say I'm going for a job as a model. Yeah. And I'm told, you know, yeah, by the way, you're going to have to give something up a little bit you know mm -hmm. for this to happen mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so this yeah. is what I always tell people. Yes. When you're going for that audition, yes. you just know there are two options. You can either get it or miss it. Okay. You know, be ready for that. Be yes. ready for that rejection. If you're ready for rejection, then you can always go back home, you know, sleep it off or do something. Mm -hmm. Wait for the next one. Yeah. Don't, don't stop. Wait for the next one. And then you're going to get it. Yeah. Instead of, you know, going there and thinking, you know what, the easy way out is sleeping with this guy. I and then I mean, I must get it. I mean, mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when you go with that idea, I must get it. Now that's when you have no option and you have to do it. Yeah. But just accept, you know what, I might get it, I might not. So then, that's it, go back home, leave it off. Mm. And you're good. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have to make wrong decisions. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have to make wrong decisions because you really wanted it. Yeah. Yes, you really want it. And trust me, you'll get it. Yeah. Yeah, just be there. Go at there. your own time. You know, at your own time, you'll yeah. get it. Mm. That's what I always tell people. That's what you tell people. All the time. And something I've really always wondered and wanted to know, do you feel like, and both of you can answer, you can start and then you can also give your, mm -hmm. do you feel like the entertainment industry is built for everybody? Because like we said, literally everybody wants to be in it, but yeah. is everybody built for this industry? No. No. No, we can't actually <laughs> even fit all of us. Mm. Oh, no. it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one, though. It's a big industry, but it breaks some people. It ruins some it people. Ruins some in people. Africa, somewhere, someone <laughs> becomes something else. Yeah, yeah and exactly. And that's the end. They've removed one CD, and we've never heard from them from again. From them again. Yeah, because of the pressure they couldn't handle. Yeah. You spoke about pressure a little bit. Maybe we can discuss pressure, or maybe we can just continue to discuss if really, if this is meant for everybody, and if people are taking it a bit too seriously, we need to chill, kiddo, mm. mm. gomaze. Okay, so about the entertainment industry. What I can say is that if you feel that, like you want to be there, then you should know what drives you to, to get into the industry. Mm -hmm. And there's no shortcut by the entertainment industry. There's no so, shortcut, yeah. Lazima tuji tume mwenyewe, you work for what you want in the industry. Right. Yeah, there's no shortcut. If you have a shortcut, ndiyo utapata. This time, but next time una pata sasa, like after kwa kutumika, ju, by the time una, una, una pata, like, let's say you want to be on a billboard as a commercial model, you, na, let's say on the girl pa, so you went and sleep with the organizer. Mm. After that, ukienda billboard, hiyo mm. project ikisha hivyo, utakontaka project ingine pia, mm. and there's no one to help you. Mm. But was all kuna pale kawe celeb, but at the moment you are nowhere. So you have just to know what you want in your life, in the industry mostly, so that you can work towards it. Okay. No matter how time it takes, but mm. at the end you achieve. At the end you achieve. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Like it should come from deep within, you know? It yes. should come from deep within. It's yes. not just something you just wake up in, you know, like that, you know? That's true. It should just come from deep within. Yeah. And also something I feel like I should, because we don't have much time, we need to jump into um, our challenge because it's a social Friday. Even our viewers might be thinking, this is so serious, <laughs> this discussion today. <laughs> but no, we're going to loosen up in just a few minutes. Yeah. Do stay tuned in. Lakini, something important I feel like saying, I feel, if you do feel like you need to be in this industry, first of all, there is no shortcut. And yeah. if you feel like you want to use a shortcut, the industry is probably not for you because know that that shortcut will come and bite you. Yeah. Yes. And me, I've come to learn, like, I'd rather start from the bottom and yeah. make it up to the top. Because sometimes, na shortcuts, Zico, yeah. they're there and people yeah. take them. <laughs> like, just there, I would, you know, you're chilling one day, <laughs> watching the news, and then, pow, out of nowhere, there's a new news anchor, you're like, <laughs> okay. I didn't see you reporting. I've not seen you doing anything in the field. Like, yeah. where are you and who are you? <laughs> well, no, no, there are shortcuts. Yeah. Either you know somebody or you do something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like any, here, I want to encourage our youth to stay on the right path and don't yeah. take shortcuts. Yeah. Yes. Um, maybe if you can just, in those last three minutes, one by one, we'll start with you, Caroline. I want you to say something to our young people about if you are in this industry, interested in staying in this industry, don't do the shortcuts. The shortcuts do come to bite you in the back. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, so guys, this is what I always say. Please, do not use that. Don't use it at all, at all. Go for auditions. Go for the first audition. You know, you have to go to so many. You'll find out that um, someone who is at the top or in this hour, like um, somebody like Kit, the actress, mm. you find out maybe she has gone to so many auditions. You know, go to so many of them, 
one will come that is just meant for you, you know. Yep. It will come, the right time will come and it will come. Because you know, if you just do something, maybe pay some money. Oh, something else. Never pay some money for a gig. Mm -hmm. Do not. Yeah. People out here are also con men. Mm -hmm. I was conned once. Yes, you are conned. I was conned. Uh -huh. So people out there are con men. Just yes. be careful. Don't give out your body. Mm. Oh my God, that is losing so much respect. Mm. And then you'll find out. And then our industry is very small. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. have to sleep with somebody. Yes. Get some role. Yes. And then you'll find somebody else yeah. you are wishing to work with in the same place. You, you get. Oh my God. So it's very even hard. It's so That's hard. So to awkward. It's so awkward, and yeah. it's very hard to start. You know. Yeah. Now it's even very hard to approach the other one. Yes. It's very hard. So just don't use the shortcuts. Go for auditions. Auditions are all over. Associate yourself with the right people. You mm -hmm. know who can show you where the auditions are. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because that's what I've done all the time. Mm. As we do yourself with people, with the right people, we'll make join the right groups, join them, network yeah. properly. Network exactly, that's mm. the word. I think network. the great way to make things yeah, is it's network. It's network, network exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And don't don't accept that it will just come. It takes time. Like me too, I'm not even where I'm supposed to be. You know, I wanna be at the top. Mm. I'm not yet there, so it takes time. Be patient. Be patient. You can just it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight. You just don't wake up and then you're up there. Mm. No, you have to come out from, you know, down here going, expecting there's no money actually, mm -hmm. until maybe your your brand or something. Because mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't just come with the money. You have to be patient. Use your own money instead. You know, to yeah. do good. Just just follow the path. Just know what I'm supposed to do to get there. But sleeping with people, guys, it's not an option. Mm. Paying money, it's not an option. Mm. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's all I have to say. That's amazing. And unfortunately, we do have to go on a break. After the break, I will allow Mr. Abel to come in and give his maoni about this particular thing before okay. we even start the challenge. Let's go on break.